so we're gonna build this character selection where we immediately go to it and we can choose our character okay so we're also gonna create a custom event up here and we're gonna say start character select yeah so the first thing we got to do is we got to set actor hidden in game or actually actor tick enable that came up first but we need to do that we're going to enable tick here and then we're going to set hidden in game because we are going to hide this when we're not using it obviously right so uh, hidden is false and then we're going to plug that into here and start it over okay every time we start this whether it's when it starts in the world on the event begin play or we restart it uh, and we are going to hit start character select. We're going to make sure all this is enabled. Then we're going to run all this again, okay? When the game starts, I want to immediately go to this character select so we can select our character. So if that is the case, we are going to get our player controller, okay? We need to set view target with blend. This is how you change cameras in Unreal Engine with static cameras, okay? So the target is always the player controller. The new view target is the actor that the camera is in. So in this case, this will be self, okay? As long as your actor has a camera, then this should work, okay? Blend time, obviously, is how long it's going to take to blend to that new camera. I'm just going to put one second, and uh, this should be fine as it is, okay? So the reason we're doing this is because if we trigger our character selection, ideally, we're already uh, in the camera of the third-person character or the first-person or whatever it is, right? So uh, we would need to, when we start this, blend to this camera. 